win goes to the dealer. I just played two hours in the GTA Casino. I recorded all of my results, and those results, well, let's just say they're probably gonna surprise you. Let's take a look. What is up, guys? I'm the Gaming Gorilla, and ah, uh, yes, the casino. Great, isn't it? The place where you hear stories of everyone winning big, but that person never turns out to be you. Well, now you don't even need to be 18 or 21, depending on what the laws are where you live, to go and lose all your money in a casino. Now you can lose all that money from the comfort of your own home on your couch in GTA 5. And I, like you, have heard lots of stories of people claiming the casino is rigged, and I've also heard stories of people saying that they've won millions of dollars. But I wanted to check it out for myself. So I played 50 games of roulette, several games of inside track, about 50 games on the slot machines, and a few very, very questionable games of blackjack, because I wanted to find out for myself and for you guys if the GTA Casino is actually rigged. And the results are interesting to say the least. So let's start with roulette. Now to make this test as simple as possible to actually measure, I bet on red every single time. Red numbers make up 18 out of the 38 possible numbers on the roulette wheel, meaning that I should have a 47% chance of winning my money back. And to my surprise, 8 of the 9 first numbers picked were black. Which as you can probably imagine led me to believe that it was definitely rigged, but I kept going just to make sure. By the end of the 50 spins, my results were 26 black, 22 red and 2 green. Which means that I ended up actually winning 44% of the time. And this is, in my opinion, close enough to 47% that we can't conclusively say that roulette is rigged. So this one is going to get the tick of approval from me. After that, I moved over to the inside track to see if I could win some money on horses. And again, I kept track of my results, making sure to only bet on horses that were 2 to 1 and 3 to 1 odds, making it pretty easy to track. Horses that had 2 to 1 odds mean that you should technically have a 1 in 3 chance or 33% chance of winning the race. And to my surprise, after 20 races, I had won 12, which is 60%. As for the horses that were 3 to 1 odds, I should technically win 1 of 4, or 25% of the races. And again, I also did 20 races there, and I won 7, meaning that I won 35%. Therefore, we can conclude that the inside track, at least for horses with 3 to 1 odds or better, aren't rigged. Or at least, they aren't rigged for the worse. So, after making a little bit of money back on the horses, keeping in mind I was only betting the minimum amounts for all the races, I made my way to the slot machines. And this is where things started to get interesting. The slot machines are the only machine in the casino that provides no player choice in terms of what number they want to select, and they give the player no freedom at all, making it a pretty questionable setup. After starting with 3,600 chips and betting in 100 chip increments, after about 5 to 10 minutes, I ended up with zero chips, meaning that I lost over 40 to 50 more games than I won. They may as well just say press X to lose money, because the slot machines, just like real life, are definitely rigged. Stay far away. And this brings me to the last game I tested, but it was actually the first one I tested, so sorry to lie to you guys, but I wanted to put this one at the end. And of course, that is Blackjack. Now, Blackjack is a game of luck, yes. However, there can be some skill involved in terms of probability and predicting the probability of certain cards. However, this is a virtual deck, and unlike real life, we can never be certain that the game doesn't have an algorithm wired in to screw us over. I went to the high limit tables and bet a lot of chips on these blackjack games, and what happened next absolutely blew my mind. As you can see, I broke even on my first hand and then bet 25,000 chips on my second hand. And to my extreme disappointment, the dealer had blackjack. So what are the chances of getting blackjack, you ask? Well, they're 4.8%. So I thought, okay, that's really unlucky, but let's go again. And unbelievably, the very next hand again, the dealer had blackjack again. Which again is a 4.8 chance, but what are the chances of this happening two games in a row? 0.2%. Now, unfortunately, I was out of chips and ended the recording, but I did come back and I can't believe my luck. The recording got corrupted. But the next hand, guys, I swear to you on my life, 
the dealer had blackjack again. And the chances of that happening, I can't even give you a percentage, but it's 1 in 10,000. After that, I proceeded to make a little bit of money back, but the point still stands. I had just witnessed a 1 in 10,000 occurrence. Now, of course, we cannot 100% definitively say that this game is rigged. However, let's just say I wouldn't recommend playing blackjack. Let's take that last blackjack out of the calculations anyway, because I didn't have the footage of it, and I understand if you don't believe me, that's fine. Make the decision for yourself. After hours of testing, we can definitively say that the slot machines are rigged, and the roulette tables and inside tracks aren't. As for the blackjack, well, you just witnessed a 1 in 400 occurrence with two blackjacks in a row, so again, make that decision for yourself. I also didn't test poker just because there's a lot more that goes into poker and it's almost impossible to actually test. But still, I hope these results help you guys determine whether you want to spend money in the casino and what you want to gamble on. And if it did help in any way, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more GTA and other games. I generally make news, reviews, discussions and comparison videos, so if that stuff interests you, click the sub button below and become part of the community. We've actually almost doubled the subscriber count here in just a week, so I just want to give a massive shout out to you guys. Thank you for enjoying my content, I'm glad I could help, and thank you for becoming part of the channel, it means the world to me, and it motivates me to keep going. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Poise!